Hey everyone, today I wanted to make a really quick video for those of you that are veterans and considering serving in either the Reserves or National Guard with some sort of a VA disability. Now, a lot of you guys have probably heard that one of two things, either number one, you can't serve at all with a disability, or number two, you can serve, but you're going to have to give up your disability pay. And I'm here to tell you that neither of those is the case. Now, this is something that a lot of people mess up and I'm not knocking your recruiters or anything like that. It's just something that doesn't come up that often, so people aren't familiar with all the details. First thing, it is true that you cannot double dip. So if you go to a recruiter, they're going to tell you that you can't receive VA disability and your National Guard pay. That's true, but it's true with some qualifications. So you can't double dip. You cannot receive your VA pay and your drill pay at the same time. Now, that does not mean that you have to choose drill pay or VA pay. So, let's suppose that I have a 10% disability. Per perhaps I have tinnitus or something. Right now, that's $140.05 per month. Now, drill pay for an E5 sergeant with four years time service, $364.44 per drill weekend. So, this doesn't mean that I have to pick $140 or $364. It's not how it works. What it does mean is that on my drill days, on the days that I drill, so the DOD is paying me for drill, VA is paying me, I can't receive that payment for the same days. So what happens in reality is I'm going to have to choose, but only on those days that I have the drill. So 28, let's suppose there's 30 days in a month, 28 of those days where I don't have drill, I'm getting my $140 from the VA. And if we divide that out, that comes to, I think it's about $5, $4.60 per day. So let's just put four, I think it's four sixty-seven per day. So if we prorate that $140 over a 30-day month, we're getting $4.67 per day. Now, on a drill weekend, for the two days that I'm there, I'm getting $364. So for two days out of the month, I have to decide if I want to take, that would be about $182 per day or if I want to get that 467 per day. So for those two days and those two days only, I give up 467 per day. So my final take home pay at the end of the month would be $364.44. That's the drill pay plus that prorated amount of my VA disability pay. So in this case, 28 divided by 30, or if you want to look at it another way, I'm getting 93% of that, uh, that VA disability pay. So again, this is something that a lot of people mess up and I've had countless veterans that ask me and they're saying, my recruiter's telling me I gotta give up my VA pay. It is true, but it's not the whole story. And again, this is nothing against your recruiter. It's, uh, it's, it's easy to misunderstand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put resources for all of the official VA documents so that you can pull this up um, and that you can show it to either your recruiter or that you can show it to your HR, your finance, uh, S1, whoever is in charge of doing your pay because this is definitely something you don't want to give up that VA disability, especially if you don't have to. I hope you all found the video useful. If you guys have any other questions related to this, just let me know and I'll try to make a video and help you all out. See you next time.